What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. If you've never been here before, my name is Sydney. I am a stay at home mom slash realtor. And I've started to post a little more on YouTube in the last couple weeks just because I want to get back in the YouTube grind of things and I really want to just start doing this for fun and maybe one day it turns into something. So for those of you who don't know, I have a almost one-year-old daughter. She'll be one in two days, which is just absolutely insane. Uh, she is my first kid and she's the biggest blessing ever. I absolutely love her to death. Since I am a first time mom, there are a lot of products that I thought I needed before I had Lila versus what I know I need and what I actually used now. Um, just over the last year, I have learned to love so many different products and have relied on so many different ones. And I just want to recommend them to other first time moms, or maybe if you're a second, third time mom, and just some products haven't worked for you and you're looking for some ones that maybe work for someone else, then here's a good list of them. I kind of broke them down into like three month increments. Some of them I use the whole time. Some of them I just use at certain age points. And I know I'm forgetting some. I try to sit down and write out the best list I possibly could, but I know I'm forgetting some. And if I think of them, I will link everything down below. Um, and I'm going to try to pop up some pictures if I can. That way you just kind of know what they look like if you've never heard of it and also kind of where I got them. So I made a little handy dandy list. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at because there's no way I could possibly remember all these. Without further ado, let's get into my must have necessities for babies under one. The first age gap, I'm gonna do like newborn to three months. Um, my first product that I absolutely cannot live without is the Hatch Sound Machine. I had the second generation one and it was actually gifted to us through our registry. You can get them at Target. I believe you can get them at Walmart, but you can definitely find them on Amazon. They're really not that expensive, but they sync to your phone. You just tap the ring at the top. It is absolutely magic. Lila loves sleeping with it. Colby and I have learned to sleep with it. We, ever since she's been born, we've used it. And now that she's in her room, she's been in her room since about five months, but we have her monitor and we turn her monitor all the way up because we love the sound of the sound machine. When we don't have it, if she ever spends a night at my parents, it is very strange just being in a super quiet house, but she loves the sound machine. It blocks out extra noise and she knows it's bedtime when the sound machine is on. So highly recommend that. My next product I love as a newborn was the Love to Dream Swaddle. I'm gonna try to pop up a picture of it here. Uh, Lila hated her hands being pinned down. Um, she did it for like the first week or two, but she never really enjoyed it. And she also would kind of roll on her side and it made me so nervous that her hands were pinned to her side, even though as a newborn, she couldn't really help herself. But I just, it made me really nervous, her arms pinned down. So I did a lot of research and I found the Love to Dream Swaddle. You can find them at Target, you can find them on Amazon. I got mine at Target personally, they're like 30 bucks, so nothing crazy. But essentially it just swaddled her body and it was nice and snug around the torso and everything where they need to be snug to feel like they're being hugged or held. But her arms were like this in the swaddle. So she loved it and it also kept her from teetering to the side just because it like flattened her out. But I used that one until about five to six ish month six ish months. The next product I absolutely adored for her was the Mamaru swing. Some babies absolutely don't like it and they prefer the little bouncer like the um baby Bjorn bouncer or the I forgot what the op brand on Amazon is, but Lila never liked the bouncer. Uh she never really used it. I put her in it like maybe five times and she never liked it. So, but she loved the Mamaru. I could put her in the Mamaru. It's got different settings and she would just go to town. I actually found mine on Facebook market. So you may want to look on your Facebook marketplace just because it's way cheaper and you can buy new covers. You can wash everything. So it's super sanitary. Um, but if not, you can find them on Amazon and 
They're a little pricier, but nothing crazy, but super worth it. We definitely kept ours for next baby because it came in handy. Another newborn must have that I used for me, not for Lila, was the My Breast Friend, My Breast Friend pillow. Um, I also got that off of my registry on Amazon, but it's basically like a super sturdy breastfeeding pillow. I never really liked using the Boppy just because it didn't give me the support I needed. It just didn't work for me. The Breast Friend pillow though, you can clip it to your back. It provides you back support. It has like a little lump for your baby's head to lay on and give like extra support so you're not having to hold. Um, I absolutely loved it. I used that my whole breastfeeding journey up until the end, just when she was bigger and didn't fit on it as much. But I would say at least up until six months, I used it and I absolutely loved it. You can buy cute covers for it, easy to travel with, but highly recommend that pillow. Another breastfeeding essential that I used was the LV Curve, uh, kind of like the Haka, but it's a different build. Uh, you can basically, if you're wearing a nursing bra or whatever, you can stick it in your nursing bra. It, you pinch it and then it suctions and you just stick it in there. You don't have to hold it. Don't really have to worry about it spilling. Um, but as they're feeding off of one side, you can collect the letdown on the other side. I collected a ton of milk this way because I didn't pump up until I went back to work around three months. Highly recommend the LV Curve if the hawk is just not working out for you. The last newborn to three month, but it can actually go a little bit past three months, is the Angel Care bathtub. I absolutely love that for Lila as a little baby. Uh, it just, she laid in it, super comfy for her. It was easy to bathe her in, but also less as a bath tub, more as just a seat. I would carry her in the Angel Care literally everywhere. I would like, a blanket on it and just make it super soft and comfy and then I'd lay her down in it carry the angel care I would put it on my counter as I was doing something of course I'm right there with her but she's not super mobile so it's not like she could roll out of it but of course always keep your eyes on your baby but I highly recommend the angel care just for like a little portable seat if we would go out of town or whatever I would take the angel care with me and she would just sit on it I could sit on the couch with us she loved it so highly recommend that for a bathtub and just as a little seat for the babies Okay, moving on to three to six-ish months range, my first product that I highly, highly, highly recommend is the Dreamland Baby Sleep Sacks. At, when I started transitioning her, I think it was between four and five months because she rolled pretty quick. I had to, you know, unswaddle her arms and I put her in the transition swaddle that they have. So basically, Dreamland Baby, lightly weights their products and it like makes them feel like they're being hugged and it's just very soothing for them but i got the transition one where basically their arms are out and they can move them around if they roll over they can push up but the arms are weighted so it keeps that nervous system reflex from bothering them i forgot what it's called i'll put it on the screen when i figure it out but basically as you know when they're little in their sleep they jerk awake a lot just because their arms will flail or whatever and it wakes them up but the transition swaddle weights their arms so it's not jerking them awake highly recommend that and all their swaddles pass then lila's still in a dreamland sleep sack just with no arms and i will probably keep her in it till she's two because she loves it she knows it's bedtime when i zip it up and she just sleeps so well with them. Other things that I highly recommend are just very good teether toys. Uh, she absolutely loved those hand teethers that have like the little arms and you can put their hand in it and it's easy to hold and they can just chew on the little arms. She loved those, they were easy for her to hold. She would not let go of them for like, for hours. And she did so well when teething with those. Even though she didn't have a tooth poke through till she was like seven months old, she was still quote unquote teething and just chewing on stuff hardcore for so many months and those were so helpful for just that age because she just wouldn't drop them another product that i love that we are actually gifted for christmas so lila was like five and a half months old and she still uses to this day it's like 
We call it her octopus. We call it an alien. I'm not really sure what it's called. I'll try to put up a picture. You can find it on Amazon. But it's basically this toy that you can pull. It's a sensory toy. It's got little click things on the side, um, little poppets, uh, and all the different extensions of it have different teething textures on it so each one she would just grab and she would chew on and she would pull on it super super good for babies as the baby gets older as time went on it definitely got a little kind of hard to remember different products that I absolutely love even though it was more recently products and stuff just don't matter as much sometimes just because they start to be so interested in things you have and all of that. But I tried to remember a couple things that I love her to use, um, especially between the six to nine month period. Around six to nine months um, and past is find you a good high chair. I'll link our high chair here. We were gifted it for our on our registry. I think they got it from Amazon. It's aesthetically pleasing. It does the job. It's easy to click on. I put it together while I was pregnant. Super easy to put together. Uh, overall, a great high chair. Another thing that she used so much from six to nine months was a walker. Uh, I'll put a picture of the one we have. She went to town in that thing. Of course, at the beginning, they were pretty slow getting the hang of it um but the setting does go pretty low lila has always wanted to stand and be standing so that was perfect for us because it got to where she was so wiggly it would be hard to hold her standing and it was just a hassle so putting her in that walker she was so content and you can also put little snacks on the tray um and she would just walk around the house and towards the nine month mark she actually started walking walking on her own around nine months so between eight and nine months she was like sprinting in that thing she absolutely loved it and it made our lives so much easier just being able to put her in it and she would follow us around another thing is just toys 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 all the colorful toys all the rattling toys all the loud obnoxious toys that you don't want get them because they are so entertained by them they don't want the quiet little boring toys they want loud colorful toys that you see everywhere. Lila is waking up so I'm gonna try to speed around the rest of it uh, and if not I'll have to come back but if I seem to be going quicker that's why it's because she waking she's waking up from her nap. So from 9 to 12 months um, just interactive toys. Lila actually started walking at nine and a half months so she is a very very mobile child so she likes the standing like DJ table and she likes standing toys, but Lila's also just a standing girl. So it may just be my baby, but any toys that she could do while standing, she loves. Also the standing walker, rather than like the walker you set them in, it's the walker that they can hold on to and walk around with so they have to be a little more stable to use it but she loved that around I would say starting around like eight and a half months just because she was trying to walk so early um, but that really helped her to actually start walking because she had to be stable she had to learn her core strength so that it wouldn't go too far and she did so well with it but the actual walker itself had play things at the front i'll put a picture of it here you can get it on amazon it's not that expensive um but she loved that walker and i highly recommend it because even after they actually start walking they can use it as a toy so find you some good sippy cups we actually found our sippy cups at walmart for like three dollars they don't leak they're easy to put together there's different colors of them they're cheap so you can just get as many as you want uh we love those and i also got one from target that does really well best products um for the 9 to 12 month like i said she's just getting to the age where she's so interested in our stuff and what we're doing and the kitchen tools and all of that so really between this age there's not so many products that i would recommend just because she is more interested in regular daily things that adults use rather than her toys um 
you know, some kids may be super interested in their toys during this time, but just because Lila is, was walking so soon and is just getting around so well, she is way more invested in what we are doing and what we're messing with. So I recommend like a Tupperware cabinet, leaving a Tupperware cabinet open for them, letting them play in it, let them destroy it. Um, yes, it can be a mess, but personally my Tupperware cabinet is a mess anyways and most people's are let them get the stuff out let them play with the lids and then when they're done you can just throw it all back in there you don't have to put it back in the ice because they're just going to destroy it again and just finding some good baby proofing uh cabinet things or toilet things just find you some good baby proofing stuff because when they start walking they get into everything of course for some people that may be after a year but for us it did come early and it came quick so we definitely had to catch up on the baby proofing as well as the outlet covers so get you some outlet covers and also not a product but nine to twelve month essential is getting out of the house lila gets in such a bad mood if she is not out of the house by like one to two if we haven't gotten out seen people gone to a store or something she ends up having just a bad afternoon she gets cranky she just loves people watching even if we don't go see someone like we know to hang out with if i just take her into a store and she was able to see people able to wave able to just look at her surroundings in a different place she is in such a better mood the rest of the afternoon which i happen to be like as well if i don't get in the house by early afternoon i'm normally in a bad mood i just need to have a change in scenery and get some fresh air and lila is also like that i don't know if that's every baby but for my baby in particular she needs to get out of the house and maybe if your baby's cranky and you don't know why in the afternoon and you haven't gotten the house try just getting out it doesn't have to be a kid thing just go to a store where they can see new surroundings and i bet you it'll help things like all year round that I used and that I'm going to continue using is the car monitor I'll pop a picture here there's a whole bunch of different variations of it I love the one we have you can see her so clearly the night vision is like impeccable and I just love having it I look at her way too often while I drive it's probably not safe but I just love being able to see her here see her clearly not have to worry about the sun reflecting off the mirror type thing and burning her skin or burning her car seat any of that they're not that expensive second to last is a good sleeping monitor we have the vtex sleeping monitor i actually got it uh, the used like new off of amazon so it was like 25 bucks but the monitor in her room sets up super easily you just plug it into the wall personally i like having a monitor with a screen and just being separate from my phone I know a lot of the monitors nowadays you just pull up on your phones and that's what a lot of people are using but I just personally don't like that I want to be able to be playing on my phone or be talking to someone or doing work and not having to like worry that I'm missing something that she's doing um, I just like having this separate so I can always have it pulled up always have the sound on and make sure she's safe so I just keep my charger by the nightstand and I plug it in every night and then it stays charged the whole day and I normally leave it on all day long but I absolutely love it it'll light up red if she's crying it's orange right now just because the sound machine is so loud but it'll be green when they're like silent and quiet but super nice has different volumes has different light settings I love it and you can also talk to her on it if you want to lastly this is what I can think of is the Cloud Island Baby Sleepers. You can find them at Target. I'm pretty sure that's the only place you can find them. They are the softest, most comfy little footy sleepers you can possibly find. They have them um, newborn to I think like two years old. Uh, they come in sets of two for boys and girls. They're so soft. They feel like kite baby onesies. Uh, is like the bamboo material i'm not sure if it is bamboo i actually haven't paid attention but it feels exactly like it and also they're so stretchy these can still wear her three to six month cloud islands and she's almost a year old just because they're that stretchy 
and so that's like nine months worth of her being able to wear them so you get your money's worth out of them and they're only $16 for two of them so rather than spending $40 on one kite baby onesie you can get two for 16 bucks and they're equally as soft and precious and just oh as a newborn and just as even now having a soft little clean baby in those onesies is just the best cuddles you will ever have if you don't want to spend so much money on those bamboo onesies you can get these they're equally as great they have different cute prints all of that i get them for all my mom friends now because they are that good and i will continue getting them for lila until she can no longer fit in them so with all that being said, I've been rambling for 30 minutes. I just wanted to recap all of those must haves and I will get those and use these for the next baby. I highly recommend them to any new moms that just don't know what products to get. I also make a video on products that I got but never used slash didn't like if that's something that would interest y'all. Uh, I absolutely love talking about anything mom, anything baby just because there's so many things that us moms don't know going into being a mom and even as a mom there's so many things we still don't know and i just love collecting information from other moms and hearing their point of views and all of that and just to say that these worked for me doesn't mean that they will work for you but from my experience all of these were wonderful so if you want any more content like this, I would happily deliver. It was wonderful getting to chat with y'all and recap all of those. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe, comment, do all the things, and let me know down below if there are any other mom content videos that you would like to see. And yeah, I will see you again, hopefully this month. This will be my second video this month, so I am on track. I hope you have a great day, great night wherever you are and always remember that Jesus loves you. Bye.